Big Ears Entertainment. Entertainment for boredom. Hello, my fellow Americans. I am Barack Obama, and today I'm going to tell you a story about train. <sighs> trains! They're engines! Trains are what they pull- <laughs> Hey, uh, Mr. Obama? I think you should sit down. I think you had too much to drink. I'll take over. Okay. Alrighty then. Alright, let's take it from the top. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you a story about trains, a meth lab far away, and a magic engine that does literally nothing except be dead for the majority of the film. Actually, the engine's not train, and it's actually about steam engines, diesel engines, road vehicles. Every story, like the railroad, has its heroes. Um, actually, it's a railway. Meet Duck, he's our great western hero. There are two ways of doing things, the Great Western way, and the wrong way. But, he's being very based right now, not gonna lie. This is the island of Sodor, where Duck and all of his friends work and live. It's really poggers. Hello, Duck. Hello, James. Barbecue bacon burger. Five, six, seven, eight. Who do we appreciate? Well, 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 Edgar. I can see you're practicing your numbers. What a good engine. You're late as fuck, you asshole. Well, aren't we chipper today? I will break your fucking neck. Also, you should take note of that sign next to you. Okay, first off, we don't have necks. And second, what sign? The one literally right next to you. Huh? What are you? Oh. Let's have a read here. Sodor Railway. Not reliable. Not on time. But you'll get there eventually. Sign. Head of the railway. The fat controller. Okay, so basically, you threaten me for being late, and then you tell me to read a sign that tells people to expect us to be late. Makes tons of sense. Okay, I honestly didn't remember that sign saying that, so you're right, that wasn't really a good example. Yeah, and one last thing, what gives you the right to speak to me like that? I'm a guaranteed connection. Without me, you wouldn't have any passengers at all. 
Harumph! Anyways, I have some news. I'm collecting Obama. He's looking after us while the Fat Controller dies. I hope you die for delaying my train! Ho <laughs> ho Edgar, you and I both know you're owned by BR, <laughs> which means you will die before me. Yeah, that's true. Get out of my way! Oh shit! I have unfinished business here and I want to finish it. Wiggly. Watch more paints work. Slow down, Speedy. Oh well. Who the fuck was that? I don't know. Never seen him in my life. At the other end of my universe. Far away across oceans of snipers' piss. Over in America, Albuquerque, New Mexico to be exact, is where two of the characters who are very vital to this story reside. The Meth Lab. Jesse, we need to cook. Mr. White, you've been saying that every day for the past three years now. I know, but it's funny. Yeah, fair enough. Mr. White, why do we have an entire steam engine's boiler and smoke box in here? Well, the funny golden ashes from that engine smoke box are really useful for making meth. Wait, did you say Golden ashes? Yes, I said golden ashes. In fact, have a look for yourself. M Mr. White, this is the magic engine. Jesse, what the fuck are you talking about? No, Mr. White, you don't understand. I'm being for real. This is the magic engine. Jesse, have you been sneaking some of my meth? Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, I, I have, like, three times done that, but, like, this is the magic engine. Hasn't it ever occurred to you that she hasn't been fired up for years, and she's still building up ashes in a smoke box? Plus, I mean, ashes usually aren't gold. You do make a good point, Jesse. Well, enough chatting. Let's get back to work. This meth won't cook itself, you know. Alright, shipmate, you're all ready to go. Alright then. See you soon, lads. Bye, Bye Funko. Funko. Whoa, what are you doing? Out of my way, you boxy cucumber. I've got important business to attend to. What the bloody hell just happened? Boko Miari, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Just a bit shaken, that's all. Who the hell is that? I have no clue. Well, whoever he is, I hope he doesn't do that ever again. It's hard to witness your siblings die one by one before your very eyes. Eustace? Marvin? Are you here? Uh, yes, boss, we're here. Yeah, we've, uh, been here for a little while now, waiting for you. Now, <laughs> you all know why we're here, correct? Yes, we do, but my question is, why did I have to give up my yellow paint? Red's the color of blood, is it not? I just wanted you to look more 
menacing. Plus, I mean, a blue and black class 08 next to a ready 2 looks very nice. Wow. That's really childish. Like, making me red because it's the color of blood, like, bruh, yeah. But I won't stand for any back chat, so, uh, shut the fuck up. Yes, sir. Now, we all want modernization on this railway, don't we? Well, I mean, I, I, I'm a steam engine, so, like, why would I want that? Okay, Eustace, you're, you're an exception, but, like, just let me speak. Anyways, if every other railway in Britain is following BR's footsteps, why isn't here? Well, I mean, to be fair, we're not even owned by BR. And plus, what about, like, the Bluebell Railway? Or the Tachlin Railway? Or- SHUT THE HELL UP, MARTIN! Uh, uh, okay then, boss. Now, as I was saying... You do realize Obama's coming here, and he- I can do whatever the fuck I want! He's a human, and I'm a machine with a claw! He can't do anything to me! He's powerless to me! <laughs> Ow, you fucking asshole! Stop it! I am your master! Ow! Ow. <laughs> Ow, you fucking son of a 